Today we're gonna to be looking at two very powerful tools used for color grading in DaVinci Resolve 16, LUTs and power grades. Let's take a look. One of the advantages of color grading in DaVinci Resolve 16 is just the sheer amount of tools you have at your disposal. Two of those tools are LUTs and power grades. And while they may seem similar and even produce similar results, they are actually very, very different. Today, we're going to take a look at both of these tools and I'll show you how to use them, how to create them, and finally, the advantages and disadvantages of both. Let's get started. First, let's take a look at LUTs, since that's what most of you are probably likely more familiar with. A LUT, or a lookup table, is in its simplest explanation, a highly technical Instagram filter for your videos. What it actually is, is a series of mathematical equations saved to a file that determine what an image should look like. For example, the file might say that if the red value in an image is three, then it should be changed to five. If the blue value is at two, it should be changed to zero. By the way, that is by no means a technically accurate example, but hopefully you get the idea. Now, there are essentially two types of LUTs, utility and creative. Utility LUTs are used to do things like adding contrast and saturation to log footage, so it looks like Rec. 709. Creative LUTs are LUTs that are used to give footage a, uh, well, creative look. I went over all of this a while back. That video will be linked below if you want to check it out. A power grade is actually a copy of all the nodes in a color grade that can be saved and used across all of your projects in DaVinci Resolve. This is very similar to saving effects, video clips, and audio clips in a power bin. And that's it. There's no more to it. No more explanation needed. I think. Okay, let's look at how to create and use LUTs in DaVinci Resolve. I'm in the color page and I've got a few clips here with a few different grades on them. One is a classic teal and orange look, one is a bleach bypass look, and one is a monochrome look. To create a LUT, simply right click on one of the thumbnails in the clip section on the color page, choose generate 3D LUT, give it a name, and choose where to save it. Quick pro tip, if you save it in the folder with the built-in LUTs in DaVinci Resolve, then automatically it will be added to your LUTs library in the color page. And click save. Let me do that with the rest of these real quick. And now if I go to one of these ungraded clips, go into my LUT library, and click and drag the LUT onto a node, you'll see that the LUT has been applied and now I can tweak it from there. Pretty simple, right? Now let's take a look at power grades. Creating a power grade is just as, if not more simple than creating a LUT. From the color page, right click on your playback monitor, select grab still, and then open up your gallery if it's not open already and you'll see the still that you just captured. When you save a still, you're also saving the grade that you placed on that clip. Now right click on the still and select change label and give your still a new name. Now drag that still into your power grades album and now that power grade will be available across all of your projects. So if I open up another project, go into the color page, and open up that Power Grades folder, you'll see this still that we saved earlier. And if I select a clip in my timeline, then right click on that still and select Apply Grade, you'll see that all of the nodes from that clip in the previous project have been copied to the new clip. Now, there are a couple advantages and disadvantages to both LUTs and power grades. For example, one of the reasons why I love power grades is because it's not just copying the look of an image. It's literally taking all the nodes that were used on one clip and putting them in another. That means that if there's something wrong with the look, I can just go to whatever node I need to and adjust it. I get more control. I like control. That came out wrong. The one big disadvantage to a power grade is that it only works in DaVinci Resolve. I can't export it and give it to someone to use in Premiere Pro or Final Cut or any other NLE. Let's have the opposite advantage and disadvantage. Since it's just applying a look instead of copying each node, it's a little more difficult to tweak if it doesn't look right. Don't get me wrong, it can be done. It's just not as cut and dry as a power grade. On the other hand, LUTs are basically universal. They can be used in any NLE or photo editing software that supports them, which is good news for you because the grades we looked at today are part of my brand new 2020 LUTs pack 
that just got released this week. And even better news, for the next week, they're $10 off. So if you want a set of 10 high quality LUTs that you can use in all of your footage, click the link in the description and head over and pick that up. After watching this video, of course. One last thing about LUTs. A lot of people have this idea that LUTs are this magical replacement for color grading, and they're not. They're not meant to replace the color grading workflow. They're meant to become a part of it. You still have to color correct footage, tweak the image after the LUT is applied. You know what? Why am I even telling you all this? I already went through my entire color grading workflow in another video. If you want to check that out, go ahead and click right here. And for more tools, tips, and tricks that will make you a better video editor, make sure you subscribe to my channel and hit that bell so you don't miss anything. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.